Very powerful. Well, that begs me the next question. But I'm leaving should not be a selfish lifestyle. How can you break down for us uh, 2 Corinthians 9, 8, you know, considering our today's focus and for the benefit of those who are listening to us, first, uh, 2 Corinthians 9, 8 says, And God is able to make all grace abound towards you, that you always having all sufficiency in all things, in all things, you know, you can just underline that, in all things may have an abundance for every good work. Over to you, sir. Right. So, uh, well, the, the essence of that uh, scripture, like, uh, like you know, you've already mentioned is uh, Christians are not called to live a selfish life. And, and, you know, the context where this scripture was even, you know, coined out from was where there were needs in the church. And Apostle Paul was encouraging the Corinthian church to give, and that you know, of course, the benefits of giving. And he was saying that, says, says, if you are able to give, I'm just paraphrasing now, you've already quoted it, that that God's grace will be more sufficient for you to be able to do more. If you if you if you have enough of what Christ has given to you and you're willing to share. There will be more grace for you to be able to do more to other people. So we can take that as basis of a lifestyle of selflessness, whereby we know that God uses us as channels of provisions to people. And then whatever whatever He has given to us, we should think of what we can share with other people, or you know, based on what we have. And the thing about it is, the life of a Christian is a life of giving, a life of you know showing love in different dimensions. And, we are, and like we said earlier on, so it's not only about it's not only about money. You can give knowledge. You have knowledge. God has given you revelation of things you have. You've read so many books. You've attended so many trainings. Not everything should be paid for. So. When, when you have knowledge, you can share your knowledge. When you have opportunities, you can show people what the opportunities are. And you can even give yourself your time. Those are things that we can, we can give. So, because time is a resource that everybody has equally. Some people have mastered how to manage their time and while some people have not been able to master that time. So, you that you've been able to succeed based on what you've done with your time you can share those secrets with other people and you know so many things it just goes on the list is endless there are so many ways we can be selfless so you know just we always have insufficiency we abound onto every good work which means that the more you give the more you have god pouring on you and then you know as you as you labor in love helping other people, you see that, you know, more resources, more ideas, wisdom, more of those things that you're giving out are coming back to you. And then that's well, that's, that's part of the keys or one of the keys to abundance. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. God uses us as channels of, of profession with people. If you, you know, just sitting on that alone. And like I said, every, you know, every time I get to say this, that the life we have is not meant for us to do alone. And there are people who need what you have. There are people who need what I have. 